All right. Hello, friends. We are here today for a very daunting task. Uh, I can see that Kyle's on the chat, so that's a little more comforting because I am sure he's going to have useful advice. Uh, I'm going to go down a little bit. So yeah, welcome to this very scary stream where I'm going to do things that I've never done before and hopefully not break lenses, screws, or drill bits. Uh, my name is Shutfa Hadungs, this is Anamorphic on a Budget, and we are going to try our best at removing some stripped screws. So that's that. I realized I didn't write any notes to open this stream as I usually do. So uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, a lot of this happens thanks to Blake. He is somewhere over there. Um, and we do this out of our kind hearts and souls just because we think the world needs to be a better place with free education. The education is key component of life. Uh, so if you can contribute to free education, you should join this channel as a member. Uh, that makes the whole thing a lot easier, a lot smoother, and a lot more rewarding to work on. Uh, you can join through the join button, which is usually just under the video on the right side. So probably the opposite side that I'm pointing. Uh, or you can also send in super chats or make donations through PayPal on the address that I am posting right now. PayPal, that me. How are you guys doing today? Um, I see we have people joining in, numbers are rising. It's just making me more concerned about this. Uh, I've actually delayed some initial steps just so uh, we get into it. And if it all fails, the stream doesn't last like 10 minutes. So, how did we strip the screw on this one? On this one? Um, so I got a new Siri 50 mil because I want to do a, a remounting process. And this one is in micro four thirds. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. It's brand new. It's clean. It's got no insert, no oval insert in it. I just got to open it up and um, get this out of the way. But I messed up because they started using some adhesive inside of the screws and then the whole thing got messed up and I think I stripped two out of four screws. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the two screws that are good. I'm going to find out which ones are good. And then I got some extractor drill bits um, after the whole Schneider debacle. I got some lighter fluid acetone. I have a blow dryer. Uh, I am as ready as I can be for this enterprise. I do not have a Dremel at hand. I have one in this room, but I would love to not have to use a Dremel on this tiny of a screw. Um, so yeah, I see not by intent photography saying that they use a lot of ugly words when they get stripped screws. So my main concern is just getting past the first five minutes without swearing. So this video can't be demonetized, but this is a risky one. Um, yeah, uh, that get the kids out of the room. <laughs> so I'm going to start taking out these screws and we're going to, we're going to get rolling. If you have any insight into what I'm doing, please yell in the chat before I do it. I'm going to try and take breaks th throughout and uh, we're going to see where this lands. So yeah. Okay, Blake, if you have any thoughts, any ideas, any inspiration, divine inspiration. Don't mess up. Yeah, no pressure. Uh, is it a five or a six? So what I'm going to do first is I'm just getting a Torx key to take out the screws that are not destroyed on this lens. And then not this, or that's a stripped. I think that is a stripped. There's a lot of play. Let's try a six. Should we add more light or should we open up a stop on this? No. So the five is too small, the six is too big. 
It's a great start. Very inspiring. Oh, okay, that was an easy one. So this one came out, no sweat. This one is not looking too good. This one's not looking too good either. Oh, this one's gonna come out. I saw you spin, come out. Nope. I don't like where this is going. Um, not by intent photography. I love your channel. Giving me some very good ideas. I am glad to hear that. Um, as a matter of fact, in a totally unrelated subject, next week's live stream is about how we got started into anamorphic shooting. Because uh, one of the members was asking, like, inspiration films and all that. So I'm preparing... Um, some footage from my first project and we'll, we'll go over that. Hopefully it's going to be interesting. Okay, so this I still have a little bit of a grip. Oh, this one came out. Oh my God, I can't believe. Are we going to manage to be... Oh my God. Okay, we're in the dark now. How dark is it? Oh, uh, it's not that bad. Okay, so we lost the light. <laughs> New battery fund. Yeah, okay, this one, the last, it's not as bad as I thought, it's just one uh, screw that is on the verge of stripping. So let's, a few people recommended using acetone and or lighter fluid, so we're gonna try acetone first. I'm gonna, I have a dropper here that I'm going to take just one tiny drop. Uh, no, this was empty. Oh, is this evaporating? Uh, Luke is saying that we could make a just chill in stream and he would watch. Uh, it's more likely that we'll do a just gaming stream. We've been talking a lot about games recently. Okay, so I put three tiny drops of acetone inside of this and hopefully it's gonna make it all the way inside. Um, I see we actually have four members on this chat. It's great to see you guys here. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, some very handy folks that will definitely have useful information if I mess up. Uh, Evan Burns is asking which extractor set did I get? Uh, so there's a lot of options in this. It also has no brand and no name. So it was the Amazon generic fast delivery one that it costed me 20 bucks and the first reviews are like, the bits break easy. Not very inspiring, especially not for my super calm uh, nerves. So we'll see, we'll make a review in real time. Um, all right. So the acetone has gone in. Question. Should I do the lighter fluid now, or should I just try once and see what happens? Uh, please let me know in the chat. I'm just stalling in case the acetone needs a little bit more time to work on those. What does the acetone do? So the, acet the idea of the acetone is acetone is a strong chemical to break the glue. So people say it breaks the blue uh, thread locker and with heat, it can also break the red one. But the downside, the downside is the danger of acetone is acetone also breaks the cement that holds elements together, optical elements. So if you just spray acetone all over the, the thing, you can be creating some balsam separation and just ruining your lens for good. So the idea is we pour a tiny amount so it doesn't go anywhere but the, the, the screw. Um, uh, and I'm really just thinking I'll give it a tiny spin. Here we go. Let's see if I can make this visible, but eh, eh, it's not going. I don't love it. 
I'm gonna do lighter fluid. Um, I tried it once. It didn't go, it didn't move, but it also didn't slip. So huge success. Uh, thank you, Evans. Uh, could you elaborate on that? I'm trying a bunch of new things in this attitude. So I wanna know which ones are working best. Um, wow, this, the chat is mostly members of this channel. I'm so happy. I'm really, really excited that we are growing in numbers. Okay, two drops of the lighter fluid and that might have been too much. <laughs> Ah. So there's just one screw? It's just one screw that might be stuck. I'm hoping to get it out without this. And if this gets out, we're going straight into the Cinelex where we stopped last time. And that one is 100% stripped. Um, yeah, so the lighter fluid was a little more generous in its approach. Uh, it kind of went everywhere. Um, oh, okay. So the, it's the optimism. There's, there's a lot of irony in this optimism, uh, but overall, I'm just happy of how this is going. Like my biggest fear in doing the, these things live for the first time is like, ah, I haven't done this before. So I'll just, you know, do it in front of an audience. Uh, hello, Ariane is on the chat now. <laughs> um, so doing it in front of an audience for the first time is, is the most concerning part because you get it wrong and people are like, ah, you're being so stupid. Uh, so that's my fear. That's how I thought things were gonna go with the Cinelux. And you guys were amazing and everybody was so supportive and giving ideas and solutions and suggestions. So that was a very inspiring experience. And here we are again. So it's just all the things that I don't feel prepared to do. I'm like, okay, well, might as well try and see where that goes. So the lighter fluid is here. Uh, I'm just giving it a few more seconds. Everybody that's here that hasn't liked the video yet, please do so. And if you're not a subscriber, um, if I actually succeed in drilling out a screw here, I don't think I've seen any tutorials about cameras that show this. So it could be very useful. Uh, thank you for the likes. I'm glad you guys are listening. <laughs> I'm gonna give this a shot again. What was the lighter fluid supposed to do? The lighter, that lighter fluid is also the same thing as the acetone. Oh, okay. So I'm just doubling down on, yeah, on the cement breaking. Uh, the lighter fluid gets rid of grease and it's just a very strong solvent. Um, we can also set the lens on fire if we want to, but not sure that's the intent. So let's go. Let's try this. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. One false, one false rotation. Okay. I'm gonna go full tilt and I'm gonna use the blow dryer. So the idea is to expand everything, kind of break the cement and um, facilitate things. Forrest Schultz. Forrest Schultz? Do you have a small lightweight hammer that you can lightly tap? You can strive to create micro shocks while also applying downward rotation of force. Um, plus other liquids to try isopropyl alcohol and WD-40. I think I have isopropyl here. Um, I said WD-40 is somewhere else in this house. I don't know exactly where. I have, this is the, the lightest, smallest hammer I have. How cool was it that it was in the shot before I even needed it? So let me see if I got this right. I put this in here, tap it, and rotate it. That's the thought. Uh, okay, Ariana knows where the WD-40 is. It's above the laundry. So we're gonna go check that out in a second if this doesn't work. Um, and then this is going to be a live stream of me pouring liquids into a lens. That seems very, very exciting. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to try and tap this, but I definitely can't do it at the same time. Okay. 
not going anywhere. I was reading tutorials on this earlier and people say, maybe you're just not good at extracting screws because you really need to keep it straight. Oh man, that was a hard one. It's getting worse. Uh, I'm gonna try the WD-40 as more like a last resort. So uh, I'm gonna walk out of the room and come back in a second. And in the meantime, send me a ton of questions or comments in the chat so we have something to talk about while this goes on. I'll be right back. Bye. Bye. We're back. I came from the blur. <laughs> all right. All the questions went to Blake. Amazing. <laughs> Blake, what's your favorite food? Um, Blake was talking about pumpkin pie. He had three variations of pumpkin pie this weekend because it was Thanksgiving weekend in Canada and his experiences varied wildly. <laughs> yeah, Costco pumpkin pie, not as good as it used to be. Or maybe my standards have changed. Let's, we can hope for both. There you go. <laughs> okay, so I dried out the, the remainder of the lighter fluid. Um, I have some WD-40, I have this straw. I love this straw, I gotta say. Well. I got in the straw. I'm just going to test how much does it spit. Oh, okay. Let's give this a shot. Oh, man, this is I'm so tense about this. Okay, doing the test was a good idea because there were some drops in the straw that just came out. So this is going, this is going. I'm just going to give it a little bit of time. Put this in here. Like, I think this makes so much sense, but at the same time, I never had it work before. Let's let it sit for a second. Oh man, it's always like this. It's never like the second to last screw. Um, the other screws did have some thread locking material. Yeah, uh, let me see if I can show. Yeah, here, like if you wanna try and get close focus on this, let me know if I can get closer. That's good. Can you see the blue thingies? In on the camera here. Ooh. Oh, there's a X teleconverter function that I think. Yeah, we see it. Okay. Yeah, so there is a little bit of thread lock on it, which is new since the early versions that I received didn't have any. So I was kind of caught by surprise. Um, Hey, Aram, how's it going? Thank you for the coffee. We're going to go out and get a coffee after this. Um, <laughs> Fun Man is back. Yeah, today the battery is not dying. We're using a bigger battery and hopefully sound should be good, but I don't know how much in sync it is as usual. The sync thing is, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. These... All of us camera people only worry about picture. Sound is secondary. <laughs> uh, can you apply direct heat safely? Perhaps a soldering iron touching the screw. I don't have a soldering iron. That's the one thing that I'm missing. Um, I have a blow dryer, but it's not directly. Um, Kyle is saying the only like I have ever had is heating up solder and then making a line cut with the Dremel of flat headed out. How do you do a line cut on a thing that's this tiny? I'm very curious. Uh, this is 
too small. Like my smallest Dremel bit is like yay big. And like this is already small. Um I don't know. Uh first I might be careful in the taps. I got excited. You know, they're probably fine threads, probably some heat is better and safer. The sink is off. Okay, but only by one or two frames. Games or frames? Um, so the TS100 is worth its weight in gold. I love it. Okay, thank you, Lucas. I'll be looking into it, adding more things. I got things to tap threads. So hopefully, oh, that's not it, but this is it. I got things to tap threads. It's somewhere in here. Uh, so if it all goes wrong, this or the next stream will be about tapping new threads because I messed up the original ones. Um, yeah. We don't have to return this lens, do we? No, we don't. We don't have to return anything. And one of them almost, almost feels like the hole is out of... Okay. Um, for a blowtorch kind of thing, that's rather small. A Dremel, Dremel Versa tip is all right. A blowtorch. I don't know if I want to use a blowtorch on a lens. You guys are... I don't know, man. Lighter fluid and then blowtorching? Um, don't know. I don't know. Okay. The uh, WD-40 had time to kind of go in and evaporate. We're going to try... One more time with this. Let's see what does happen. There's definitely way more play. I'm gonna I'm gonna commit and say that my wrist is probably not doing so great. And try to do this with a low speed. Wait. Not this direction. Yeah. Okay, this has not worked. We are going to do what was promised. We are going to have to extract this guy here. Before we do that, yeah. do you want to try uh, mm. putting in the screw on the opposite end? Seeing if that relieves like the tension on that one? Because you got... What do you mean? Like, because uh, it's like super held down on the one side. If you release, if you add pressure on the other side, it should... Oh, pull okay. It up. So you I put the see. screw back in. I see. Let's find the best one. Oh, me. This froze. Oh, God. On, uh... Oh, we're back. Okay. It was, uh, look at that freeze frame. Amazing. Love it. Because <laughs> the other screw... It makes there sense. Were two that was stuck, right? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, okay. Evan is saying make sure you do the extraction in the right direction. So that brings up exactly a question that I wanted to ask, which is I couldn't find clear instructions on what is the right direction. Okay, so I applied pressure on this side by tightening that in. And this, okay, I'm gonna stand up and try to apply all of my body weight onto this. It's great. My wrist is just going to love it. It did. Oh my god. We won. Okay. All right. We're going to have to do the extraction with the other one because this came out. You little. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys. We did it. Part one. We did not mess up a hundred percent do you want to get a, a tight of this there's a lot of crap on this screw i've actually 
surprised. <laughs> okay, so the first part we did, uh, I guess this goes to inspire the idea that not all stuck screws are lost and you can do a lot by mixing chemicals, brute force, and the support of 23 people. Um, but we are going to move on to the Cinelux now, and uh, that one's going to have to be extracted. Well, on that note, anybody has any insight on how to remove this glue or this scrap from the screw? So every time I put it in, it doesn't get uh, tough. I just want it to be smooth. Okay, all right, this worked. I can't believe. So excited. Okay, well, this is gonna be on pause. This is another project and now. It's gonna go off to the side here. Thank you, Sirui. Okay. And I guess we didn't even take half of the time to get here. Okay. Uh, let me see the blowtorch. The answer is always fire. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's, I guess some book could drop in coffee bean and flame it. Okay, I've only had like a drilling. Um, so the hint of really pushing into it actually worked, which is great. Love it. Um, a microfile to get the line cut. Okay, Kylie, have all the micro stuff. I bought pretty much everything in that list that you sent me, by the way. And I'm just waiting, hoping that I never get to the right opportunity to use that stuff. Uh, <laughs> I need to take out some side screws from here. I'm gonna remove all of the support from this lens. This can go, this can go. So for the people who didn't see the previous live stream with this same lens, uh, this is a Schneider Cinelux that I was decided, determined, let's say, to flock to remove internal reflections. And I took out every single screw in this thing until we got to the very last one, which stripped. So the, the stream kind of died there. Um, but then after three weeks, I've toughened up and today we are gonna try more extreme methods of getting them out. Good evening, Charles. Thank you for joining us. I hope you're having a fine day. Um, there you go, train CZ, wash screws in isopropyl alcohol or acetone and dry them. I will give them a full chemical bath. This seems amazing. All right, how many people does it take to unscrew a step or unscrew? Exactly, depending on the skill of the operator, it could be just one. If the operator is doing it for the first time, it could be 20 something. Um, so let's try, where are those? Um, this, J-I-S. I love how my fingers can't grip the thing. Okay. So we had one victory. Let's see if we're gonna get to two victories or, I mean, we are, but at what cost? Right. So let's start by actually the double pressure method made much sense. I'm going to do everything in stages from now on. And what am I going to use as a lid? This, oh, this. Boom. Okay. I'm using a Simmod lens cap as a holder for the screws. So if you're like, ah, oh, man, I really love those lens caps. I just wish I could use them more. This is my illustration. Okay, so this comes out. Part one, out, boom. 
Now we have two more tiny screws. Did I mess up your frame, Blake? You're going in very tight. All right. Um, this one looks fine, so I'm gonna take this one first. Okay. You also did lose picture on me. Yeah. That one? Yeah. Oh man. So I'm just staying on this right now. Okay. Well, you are gonna hear the soothing sound of my voice without seeing the beautiful looks of my face. Yeah, okay, so the idea here is this screw um, is very messed up. This one is bad. Uh, is it yeah, visible, it. visible? Okay, cool. Uh, so if I try to do this, it just spins freely. There's very little, no, there's no grip. And I think we got to drill into it to take it out. But before we start doing that, I am going to do some of our chemicals here. I'm going to do one little drop of acetone, one little drop of the other thing, and one little drop of the other thing. So let's start with the acetone. I think I just need to touch. Okay, two drops in there. Acetone has a weird smell. It smells chemical, like bad. But at the same time, it's soothing. And I don't think it's because, I don't think it was always like this. I think this started after I modded a bunch of Russian lenses. I can't even smell it here, actually. Oh, lucky you. Maybe it's my, uh... Your allergies. Yeah, allergies. <laughs> making me crazy. <sighs> All right, Kiss has just joined us. Those lenses, oh my god. They have to be cleaned. What do you use for cleaning? I see what you're doing there. Um, <laughs> they're not that bad. So for this stuff, I've just used isopropyl or uh, the lens cleaner thingy. Oh, we're back. The camera came back. Oh, we lost again. Oh, man. So excited. Um, so nothing special for cleaning this. Oh, I see it's frozen again. Are we frozen or is that just uh, the camera? It's just the camera. Uh, Kyle, right now I'm tapping M2 threads on a 46 mil front end of a 30 mil DN28F to avoid the scope becoming misaligned. Wow. Uh, yeah, I realized I didn't have anything that I could just like test tap threads onto. I didn't have any spare uh, step rings or destroyed lenses that I could just experiment on uh but it's definitely something oh, i'm walking into focus because we're using a diopter <laughs> um i don't have anything that i could experiment on so it was uh, kind of frustrating okay i'm gonna dry the little bit of lighter fluid that's here uh on the note of cleaning i do use lighter fluid for cleaning excessive grease like when I disassemble something and grease gets on the elements and you just clean once twice th three times by the fourth time you're like this is not going anywhere it's just getting worse um, then I use lighter fluid a tiny drop and just with the lens uh, lens wipes and it works wonders so for grease the lighter fluid is amazing I don't think I would use acetone to clean glass ever Although I do use it for taking out the blackening of the side of elements when doing the extreme mod anamorphic stuff. Um, I think the smell of gasoline is feels good to everyone. Do disagree? Agree? Not everyone. I know Not some everyone. really just like the smell of gasoline. Oh, oh. I also read somewhere that the smell of gasoline makes you more irritable or just like angry in general. Well, I guess that is the, the gas fueled reaction when you get mad at something. Uh, anyway. Are we still live? Yeah, we are. Okay. Oh, uh, it says it stopped in our streaming software. Uh, oh, we're back. Oh, we're back. Okay. Oh, the computer's kind of having a panic attack. Oh, my God. Okay, guys. Uh, if you can hear me, we are going through technical issues. Uh, excellent connection. It says we're having an excellent connection. 
Uh, please let us know in the chat how are things going on the technical side of this stream. Uh, our camera is, is not... We're using my phone as one of the cameras. And while it has worked greatly most of the times, some days it just doesn't. And I guess the computer is having a hard time. YouTube's not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. As such, viewers will experience buffering. Um, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, we're kind of freezing up here. Oh, they keep freezing up, and then it's like it happened as soon as I closed the Droid Cam video to restart it. But it's freaking up. Okay, so if you close the Droid Cam, we, we are good. Uh, no, Android Cam. Oh, closing it freaks it out. Yeah. Oh, man, that's um, tough. Um, okay, people are saying it's all good now. Video looks low res and frozen. Wow, not just low res, not just frozen, both at the same time. Um, okay, so you can hear us. A lot of people bailed. Well, their loss. Uh, I guess I won't start drilling into this before we figure this out. Are we... Is this going with this other camera? Uh, All of my high-pitched voices because I have questions? Should <laughs> uh, we restart this computer? Or... I don't know. Yeah, we should restart this computer. It... Did the stream die? 